prayer strikes the winning blow. Service is simply picking up the pieces. S.D. Gordon Men may spurn our appeals and reject our message, oppose our arguments, despise our persons, but they are helpless against our prayers. Sidlow Baxter But you, when you pray, go into your room, and when you have shut the door, pray to your Father who is in the secret place, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you openly. Matthew 6, verse 6 The prayer power has never been tried to its full capacity. If we want to see mighty wonders of divine power and grace wrought in place of weakness, failure, and disappointment, let us answer God's standing challenge. Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Hudson Taylor No learning can make up for failure to pray. No earnestness, no diligence, no study, no gifts will supply its lack. E.M. Bounds Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be open to you. For everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks finds. And to him who knocks it will be opened. Or what man is there among you, who, if his son asks for bread, will he give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will he give him a serpent? If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father, who is in heaven, give good things to those who ask him? Matthew 7, verse 7 through 11. Satan trembles when he sees the weakest Christian on his knees. William Cowper Again I say to you, that if two of you agree on earth concerning anything that they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, I am there in the midst of them. Matthew 18, verse 19 through 20 Prayer will make a man cease from sin, or sin will entice a man to cease from prayer. John Bunyan The one concern of the devil is to keep Christians from praying. He fears nothing from our prayerless studies, prayerless work, prayerless religion. He laughs at our toil, he mocks at our wisdom, but he trembles when we pray. Samuel Chadwick So Jesus answered and said to them, Assuredly, I say to you, if you have faith and do not doubt, you will not only do what was done to this fig tree, but also if you say to this mountain, Be removed and be cast into the sea, it will be done. And whatever things you ask in prayer, believing, you will receive. Matthew 21, verse 21 through 22. I would rather teach one man to pray than ten men to preach. Charles Spurgeon. One day George Mueller began praying for five of his friends. After many months, one of them came to the Lord. Ten years later, two others were converted. It took 25 years for the fourth man to be saved. Mueller preserved in prayer until his death for the fifth friend. And throughout those 52 years, he never gave up hoping that he would accept Christ. His faith was rewarded for soon after Mueller's funeral, the last one was saved. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Philippians 4, verse 6 and 7. The battle of prayer is against two things in the earthlies, wandering thoughts and lack of intimacy with God's character as revealed in His Word. Neither can be cured at once, but they can be cured by discipline. Oswald Chambers A life growing in its purity and devotion will be a more prayerful life. E.M. Bounds And this is the confidence that we have in Him, that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. And if we know that He hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we have asked of Him. 1 John 5, verses 14-15 through 15. As is the business of tailors to make clothes and cobblers to make shoes, so is it the business of Christians to pray. Martin Luther True prayer is measured by weight, not by length. A single groan before God may have more fullness of prayer in it than a fine oration of great length. Charles Spurgeon And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. John 14, verse 13 Prayer does not fit us for the greater work. Prayer is the greater work. Oswald Chambers For assuredly I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, Be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. Therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. Mark 11, verses 23 and 24 It is not enough to begin to pray, nor to pray rightly, nor is it enough to continue for a time to pray, 
but we must patiently, believingly, continue in prayer until we obtain the answer. George Mueller Each time before you intercede, be quiet first and worship God in His glory. Think of what He can do and how He delights to hear the prayers of His redeemed people. Think of your place and your privilege in Christ and expect great things. Andrew Murray Therefore I exhort first of all that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings, and all who are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceful life in all godliness and reverence. Intercession is truly a universal work for the Christian. No place is closed to intercessory prayer. No continent, no nation, no organization, no city, no office. There is no power on earth that can keep intercession out. Richard Halverson If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all liberally and without reproach, and it will be given to him. But let him ask in faith, with no doubting. For he who doubts is like a wave of the sea, driven and tossed by the wind. Eighteen-year-old Hudson Taylor wandered into his father's library and read a gospel tract. He couldn't shake off its message. Finally, falling to his knees, he accepted Christ as his Savior. Later, his mother, who had been away, returned home. When Hudson told her the good news, she said, I already know. Ten days ago, the very date on which you tell me you read the tract, I spent an entire afternoon in prayer for you until the Lord assured me that my wayward son had been brought into the fold. Our Daily Bread, July 19, 1989 You lust and do not have. You murder and covet and cannot obtain. You fight in war, yet you do not have because you do not ask. James 4, verse 2